hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel the ada is a color channel the other sugar ada diorama ada pepperempe yes that's me you know the vibes i think by now you guys have seen me in my intro <laughs> so guys welcome back i know i've been m.i.a like i didn't even post on sunday like i honestly be posting twice a week but i didn't post on sunday if you follow me on instagram you will know why like my hostel roof legit fell off like i kind of experienced what it meant to be homeless <laughs> Like, okay, let me know let's go into the lamentations. Hey, and this is your first time on my channel. You are welcome. Welcome to the family. My name is Ada Adeze, and I'm a YouTuber based in University of Nigeria, Unsuka, Enugu State, Nigeria. So I make UNM videos. I make UNM videos, uni videos, and I also make lifestyle videos, you know, interaction video, discussion. I'm trying to pitch in some controversy, but, you know, I'm looking for people that will prepare that controversy very well. So guys, um, in my last video when I did, my one of my last previous videos when I did the UNN hostel, someone left a comment that she please show her inside the hostel, that she wants to know what inside the hostel actually looks like. And that is what I'm exactly going to do because I remember when I, when I got admission, I wanted to know how everywhere looked inside but I couldn't because there was no video. I checked YouTube, Google, I checked everything, I couldn't find anything. So I want to be that UNM Bible to you. I don't want you to go through what I went through. In case I think of staying in the hostel, I want to know what it looks like before going into this video. I'm going to be showing you everything. I'm not going to be doing much of talking. I'm just going to be a short video. I'm just going to be showing you everything. I'm going to show you inside my room. I'm currently in my room. The hostel is not the best. Like, this is a federal school hostel. Obviously, you don't expect it to look like a private school hostel where they have wooden bunks and private toilets and co. This is a federal school. Government is still owing ASU. Asu, like government is still owing us, government is owing everybody. So, like, you just have to make do with what you have. But the advantages of the hostel is that it's inside school. You have electricity, you have water. Even though now there is no electricity, because please go and follow me on Instagram at Ada Ezekwelu. On my Instagram page, I explained to you guys I couldn't post on Sunday because like a heavy rain fell on that sun on that Sunday or Saturday. And on Saturday, heavy rain fell. I won't believe that this rain actually removed my hostel roof. Yeah, like it removed my hostel roof. And water started dripping into the hostel. So everywhere started shocking. The walls started shocking. They now had to turn off our electricity. Currently, they are trying to repair the roof, but they can't turn on our light till it's repaired. I even had to go to another hostel to charge my phone. Let me see if I can show you guys um the wood they are going to repair the hostel. Let me see if I can turn the camera. Okay, they have, they have cleared the wood. But I'll go outside and try to I told that if I go outside now, I don't think I want to show the hostel, the roof. So this is inside the hostel. This is inside a typical UNN hostel. Let me video. I'm sure you'll be like, ah, oh, this hostel is not so arranged. This hostel is this. My dear, if you're coming to UNN, just so you know this is where you're going to meet. So this is me, of course. I just came back from practical. Let me stand this camera for you guys yeah i just came back from practical this is my lab coat yeah i just came back from practical i'm a student i'm a 400 level student of the faculty of pharmaceutical sciences okay so let me show you guys i hope this room is neat enough for, for my roommate to swallow me that i'm disgracing them <laughs> okay I'm going to also show you outside. So when you enter into the room, this uh this is how our wardrobe look like. So this is the corner A. If you have not watched my UNN hostel video, please go and watch it for a deeper understanding on how the hostel works. So this is the corner A. When you enter the room, let me go outside so you ex you understand what I'm saying properly. When you enter the room, this is the corner B and D. This is the corner A and C. So this corner A, this is the wardrobe. In my video, I explained that when you're in corner A and B, you get a wardrobe, a wall wardrobe. This is it. Then this wardrobe is for corner C. This wardrobe is for corner C. So this is the corner A. In corner A, you usually get an eight spring bed with a your personal table and chair. Yes, you get your personal table and chair. This is it. So you get a personal table and chair. You can read sit down here read you can cook here you keep your plate everything this is the corner a 
you also have a book rack where you can keep your books like this is it so now this is the corner c this corner a is usually for the final year students so this is the corner c as you can see so this corner c is usually for the second year student and you also get a wardrobe you see this is the wardrobe you get for being in corner c then this is the rack this is the book rack you can so this thing you usually do it yourself the school just provides you with this so these two corners are close to the window that is my corner i'm in corner d so see this is how it looks like corner c corner d they they are very similar the only difference is that the corner c has a wardrobe while for the corner d this is all you get you just get this clothes rack but you can also you know you can make something else for yourself so this corner d is for usually for the first year then this is the corner b can I be usually for the third year or fourth year, depending on how many courses your how many years your courses are. So this is the shoe rack. Then here the corner C and D they share on top of this place to keep your boxes. You guys can see the hostel is basically simple, like just a simple hostel. You cook. This is the space. Let me give you guys a 360 turn. So this is our view. Yeah, this is not um, Jumaira view. This is UNM view. <laughs> This is our view you can see at least well, our room is well ventilated so let me just give you a turn this is how the hostel is please though if you know you're in private school in my comment section don't come and start commenting nonsense because this school was this hostel was built in 1960 like that was a long time ago so um i'm sure you guys have seen this place i usually film here like this place this is my corner i make all my videos from this corner oh yeah it's dark like this i make all my videos from my corner because one time someone was asking me where do i film that do i go off campus to film no i make all my youtube videos from this corner i just pull down all my the youtube video from this corner i just pull down the curtain and use it if you check my youtube background you see that it has this curtain pattern i make all my videos on this bed i've made a video on this bed before and i made my UNM video in this corner yeah, I made my UNM video in this corner. So, the reason why I'm showing you this is that so you know that if you want to create, you can buy a backdrop. You can get all those um, nice um, backdrop things. At least if you get a backdrop, you can just tell your corner mate in corner A, you hang it here. Nobody will know. But like, I I don't have a backdrop. And so I'm just making... And besides, most time when I want to film, I don't want to really disturb anybody. So I just try to make do with my corner. So now I'm going to be showing you guys outside. I'm going to be showing you guys outside the hostel. I've already filmed the toilet. In this video, I'm also going to show you guys what our toilet and bedroom looks like. So keep watching. And if you're a first year student, don't worry. You have everything. See, I have a fan. You can get yourself a fan in the hostel. Your personal fan. I've had this fan since my second year. You can get yourself anything you want, really. And if you have any other question, please leave it in the comment section. Um, I've forgotten the name of the subscriber that said I should please show inside the hostel. But if you're watching this video, I hope you are liking it. See, I listen to my subscribers. And if you guys want any other video, just let me know. Like, I'm supposed to film a proper video today. But there is no light. I don't know how. There is no light. And I can't stay. The way my hostel is, I can't, like... I would have even loved to back the light. Like, I would have loved to, you know, to use natural lightning. But then uh, there's no way i'm going to sit down so i just need to wait for them to bring light or i'll look for something to do about it so now um next up i'm going to be showing you the toilet and bedroom then i'm going to show you guys outside the corridor how everything looks like so keep watching and if you're not subscribed please subscribe click that subscribe button and please click on the bell um icon so you get notifications and check out my other video i have a whole unm playlist okay so now let's go to the toilet and bedroom then we'll go outside hopefully the supervisor doesn't catch me because hmm i don't have strength <laughs> now this uh like, this is our toilet and bedroom so in each wing we have 12 rooms in each wing and for each wing we have 12 toilets and 12 bedrooms in this bedroom you see that we have sinks but nobody brushes in this sink we just Poor dirty water that's why the, the tile is so dirty so by this side we have the old set of toilet and bedroom the old six sets of toilet and six sets of bedroom but then they commissioned another set of bedroom in the same place so by this other side now these are the new sets of toilets we also have six toilets here so all in all we have six toilets we have 12 toilets and 12 bedrooms for the 12 rooms in the wing this is the toilet see it's kind it's dry it's fair enough it's not so clean but fair enough 
and these are the bedrooms we also have 12 bedrooms but i couldn't film inside because someone was having a bath at the moment now this is the passage aka the corridor here it's really dark because there was no light so everywhere was just dark but usually there are they usually light here so now i'm going to the 300 series that's upstairs i want to show you guys how it is there is no light so everywhere is a bit dark these are the you know this is the notice board a lot of people buy a lot of things sell a lot of things so there are posters everywhere now this is the backyard of the hostel this is from this is like an area of you if that's what it's called of the backyard of the hostel you see everywhere in this hostel is green 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 we have vegetation everywhere now i'm just going upstairs so i can show you guys this 300 series is where i said the roof spot so here is a bit lit because because of the roof obviously so the passage is just like this just like basic dormitory design something like this here is also very dark so i can show you guys inside but i hope you grab an idea of how the hostel is so if you are coming i know that you can deal with all this fine you can come to the hostel but if you can't deal with this then you no know, you can just go to another place this is me looking up pink size 12 me <laughs> that is me yeah other drama that's me yeah admire so guys this is the end of this video thank you guys for watching if you're not subscribed please subscribe click on the bell notification and like this video this is the downstairs of the hostel just a basic lounge and each hostel has a canteen so you can always buy everything you need. thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye